Hey, man. Hi. You wanna play a game? Not when you say it like that. Look, no, it's a great game. It's called... Dad Libs. Um, okay. I'll go first. I'm gonna press the random word button. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah? The biggest threat to the kingdom yet. Witch! <laughs> okay, so there's a witch. Your turn. The biggest threat to the kingdom yet is... Attention! Everyone's getting too much of it and it's gonna ruin our society! No, we're not getting enough! The biggest threat to the kingdom yet... Drug. <laughs> this is the way that... Guys, it's drug. We have a problem. The biggest get threat to the kingdom yet. Climate. <laughs> I mean, with all the curious swarm, I mean, that's fair enough. I didn't realize that was a weather condition. <laughs> We're genuinely pressing just random word generators here, guys. The biggest threat to the kingdom yet. Wound. The dead will know what happened. <laughs> the biggest threat to the kingdom yet. Safety. <laughs> the biggest threat to the kingdom yet is that sun breaks over now and it's finished and ended and this is the last ever new thing to ever come to sun break so rise and sun break error is is gone that's a it's a really wrong random word but i've got a good one what's yours the biggest threat to the kingdom yet nature <laughs> i mean yes that's the whole point of monster <laughs> that that one sentence just describes every quest that has ever been given in a this? Monster Hunter game. Is this not quite a poignant gravitational moment? It's quite somber. It's quite sad. I don't remember feeling like this as we like approached Fatalis in Iceborne, but I, I kind of feel really sad about this one. Well, I mean, that's because when we approached Fatalis in Iceborne, there was like eight, eight, 80 minutes of cutscenes of them preparing. It was just like, oh, this is going to be cool. If we just don't talk to him, do, do we just get to keep going? Yeah, if we never go to ask about the biggest threat, Sunbreak will never be over and we can live in the fantasy bubble of it still existing! We have been on a long, hard journey, filled with fun, fright, and frightful fun, and now it is soon to be done. We've battled through every manner of kingdom creature, and now we are about end it all. I don't remember fighting in a manor. Oh, did you not get the Queen's invitation? It was a really good time. It sound, doesn't sound like you had an invitation if you had to fight through <laughs> it. <laughs> That's why I didn't fight my way in through the guard. Alright, Galley Boy, what's going on? I can call you Galley Boy, right? Gal Galliman. I received an urgent message. The Chevaliers have sighted a new... <laughs> they, they just kind of scribbled the last part of the message. Oh, understandable. I mean, he is talking. <laughs> Already causing chaos and destruction all across the kingdom. That cursed again. Does it find pleasure in tormenting our people? Okay, Fearing. It's just an animal, okay? It's just doing its thing. It's a stubborn pest, I'll give it that, but there's something that caught my eye. Oh, oh, Jesus. Apparently, there were no signs that this being affected by the. This ain't the same. Oh, we fought before. It's free from the. So in a sense, this is its true form. I didn't realize you'd gone back to dad libs. Are you enjoying this this lovely introduction? It's very strange for me. This is very cool though. I'm I am I, am I feel like this. actually in the future you should just like when you have to replace spoiler words, use the random word generator. <laughs> I feel like that might work good. Thus we have decided to name this boing Bum. No, thus we have decided to name this Hearing Wedding. <laughs> Monster! As if it has traveled through time from the era to the present, it poses an even greater threat than Guy's Magorm. I'm sorry, is this is this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? We're gonna fight a time traveling. Is this a paradox Pokemon? Paradox monster? Demon or demon, so, you know, get ready. D it's a demon? It's a greater threat than Guy's Magorm, so surely it's gotta be further up the totem pole of hell monsters. I mean, I guess. It doesn't necessarily need to be a demon, it could be an angel. How can it pose a greater threat than Geismagon? That's the thing, Theo! You dumbass! Why does that have that kind of, like, inte like intonation to it? <laughs> Here's the thing, you fucking brute with your weapons. I've done research. <laughs> Was Andrew Gerson, the Chevaliers found records that paint a pretty clear picture of what we're dealing with here. Remember the Archdemon of the Abyss fairy tale? We thought we knew how it ended, but the records continue the story. Previously, we thought it ended with, when people's hearts are filled with darkness, it will surface to destroy them. But it actually continues with, the archdemon will summon the demon lord, 
whose silver spear shall deliver what? its judgment, purifying the land until only ashes remain. Why have we not thought about this before? Doesn't I feel like that makes sense. Like Archdemon isn't like the top tier of demon conceptually speaking. And that's what it's always been called. Yeah, exactly. It's it's very yeah, it's very neat. So you ready to go hunt the demon uh, lord? I mean, as ready as I can be, I guess. <laughs> I love this! Fear like, but what kind of death is it gonna bring? Come on, Theo! Why are you such a moron? Purifying ashes, it's gonna eradicate the Honestly, <laughs> just let the hunters experience for itself. <laughs> He's so hard to talk to, Fearane. Come on. Eradicate? Foul creature! <laughs> Why is she so offended? It's terrorized us for ages, and now it threatens us with annihilation? The sheer audacity of this okay. animal. I don't know about ages. Like, this thing has just appeared. <laughs> Calm down, Theo. You're getting hysterical. But Harry is just not having it. He's a scientist. He's all logic. We must sally forth. We are the only ones who can stop it. What is this we? Is she, gonna, she could come with us. She did for various story quests. No, I know she's probably going to based on that, but she's like, we are the only ones that can stop. It's it's us, and you will kind of be there. And to be fair, she has been there for every like major thing we fought in Sunbreak for the first time. I have a message from the Queen herself. Ooh. Why didn't the Queen tell us? Brave hunters and vanquisher of the Archdemon, I call upon you once more to lend us your strength. That's the whole message. That's why a pretty is that the whole... I think you made that I think you made that up, Dad. Yeah, why is that the whole message? I think you're just telling us that to try and convince us to do it. We must put a stop to this! We must, Chiche, okay. we must. Would you like to come hunted with us, Chiche? Uh, I think that'd be a good idea. We could throw her as bait. I do like being bait. <laughs> yes, aren't you? It's your, it's your nickname, Little Bait. Little Bait over here. Don't take me fishing. Ha -ha. <laughs> oh my, look at me being all doom and gloom. Come the challenge, I have faith that you will fulfill your duty. She said the line. That's her line. That's her signature line. Fulfill uh, uh, duty. For God's sake, why do I do anything with you? Take you anywhere. <gasps> I feel like you're spoiling yourself. Why are you even looking at that yet? <laughs> it's a curios! Oh, it's, it's the Citadel. They're all gonna form a giant ball and that's what we're gonna fight. He looks a bit different, doesn't he? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? He seems a bit paler. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> what? So he's Valstrax now? But he just stabbed a curio to death. He did just a little bit. Oh. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh, he's like shielding himself with it. That's cool. The cries of his traitors. It's Malzano versus the curios. Oh, uh, I mean, his scales are hard enough. Legend resurrected. Primordial Malzano. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at he him. He looks great, yeah. He's gorgeous. How about that then, Mr. Man? Wait, what are you asking me? We watched that together. We both talked about it. What, like, what, you want me to have a different thing to say now? You I want to see the monster. time while he's while he's doing his thing. What's your take? What's your impression? Did you expect the variant? I wanted the monster you... that was nothing. Yeah, but did you expect a variant of Malzano? Did you expect something new? Did you expect it to be like all white and shiny and anti curio and all of the, the stuff that happened? It definitely wasn't like. The unexpected option, I guess. I didn't I didn't expect the, the Curio thing, but like a variant of Malsano makes sense as a progression of the last monster, I suppose. Oh, he's right there! He's right there! What? Oh, I thought he I thought he'd be in the castle. I guess I won't collect all my toads then. No, man, you don't need toads. M maybe you don't need toads. I want to archive Fiorain's dog, do you mind? Don't just look away from me. He, he looked over to Fiorain like, do I have to listen to this guy? As I was saying. I will pocket this little interaction for, like, a couple hours from now when we've carted 73 times and we then do go oh, get every toad okay. on the map to make it easier. But until that happens... We don't need no endemic life. It's us, our weapons, and our hunting brains. All right. Not that we have a whole hunting brain between us, but we can try our best. No, we should also probably have hands to wield the weapons or else it's going to be a bit limited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. For the final time in... The rise and sunbreak, ladies and gentlemen, and cotton of the jury, behold! Primordial Malzano. Ah! Ah! Ha ha ha! That's better. Feeling much more like my old self. Now then, I've got a job to do. Malzano, hello, no longer blood sucking foe! Oh.
Primordial and cordial, existence allegorical, no more I will. Walk with the curio, so either help me, befriend me, or I'll end thee. Send me to the depths of hell, where arch demon dwell. Watch my power swell as I break the spell. It's the end of sunbreak, it's been great. But one final fight, Desher might, for this white knight will go screaming into the night, a last flight to end the kingdom's blight. Oh my Jesus! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay. That's fast. I found the silvery well, spear to bring. I have a barrage of bullets. Oh. Yeah, I think it, apparently it's it's. I love the way he's using it. Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! My fucking hell! What the he hell? Just, he just like. Oh, oh my god! What? What the fuck? Excuse me. It looked like he like set up the usual Mal's and no tail stab, but then back swiped it into you. I was not ready for that to happen. And I was further not ready for a generally just, you know, chill-looking attack to do more damage to me than uh, the special investigation monsters. Oh my god, he's so good! I'm so happy! Yeah, this is very cool so far. Oh, they're just a little, like, like, oh. oh how, like, it kind of occurs to me. Oh. It's so neat seeing him sans curios. Yeah, apparently he's not very purple- this confuses me, though, because, like, his whole thing was like, Haha, he's the Vampire Lord, and he seems nothing vampiric in the slightest of the curious. Yeah, so, so the plot twist here is that they have made Malzano a Kezu. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I guess I understand what you mean. So, But also, they have labeled this as a variant of Malzano, so that's even more confusing. Yeah, so the Malzano that we've experienced up until this entire time is actually a variant of Malzano that has been subdued and, and symbiosis and curioed, but by default, naturally, what we're fighting now is actually Malzano as he is yeah. as a base animal, and I think that is such a cool way to do this final little, well, Is it this. just leaving? Okay, it's leaving. I'll, 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 fight. Try, I'll fight you once you finish doing my backstory. <laughs> I feel like you can't give him that accent anymore. Oh yeah, he's not really vampire anymore. I feel like we, we've been interpreting him wrong as a vampire. I feel like he's like a, a paladin who got corrupted type deal. Yeah, now. but I think that's what they're going for. The legend kind of paints him as evil, but I guess the reality is he's not. He's he's a, he's an anti well, I mean because we Monsters know that he suppresses Guy's Magon Rising. Yeah, of course, he's just doing a natural thing in his territory. But the idea he's a pro Whoa, what the fu Oh, what the fuck what is that? What was that combo in a bush? And why there was no bush? But why why did he why did he not flinch me in the middle of it? Why why was he just able to hit me twice in a row like it was nothing? Whoa oh, whoa! Fucking stop it! I like how you're talking to him like an agitated, agitated horse. Like, whoa, boy! Whoa, calm! Whoa! Look, there is no other thing to say right now. Oh, he's so awesome! The purple is just the best. What purple? Oh, I'm grabbed. He's blue now. <laughs> I'm grabbed. He doesn't eat me anymore because he obviously ah! He just impales you with his tail instead. Jesus! He's, Why am I saying that with such glee? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you should stop. It's sort of God, he impales you. I'm losing so much blood. It's so cool. That pyran... What is happening? The curio gathering uh, in Malzano. Keep your guard up. They're attacking in mid-fight like they did in his intro. Oh, and look, he's got him on him because um, they're trying to... <gasps> oh, my God. Okay. That's so cool. But also... But, but also <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Is this like more of like a chaotic Gormagala situation where we're getting like mid-transformation? Yeah, because the Curio are trying to bring him back. Like a rusted Kushala Deora? I think the Curio are trying to bring him back as, like, their ally, back to symbiosis. Well, yeah, because they want him. Yeah, exactly, and he's trying but, to resist, but, so he's sort of half at the moment. Ah! But I thought this was just one that hadn't had the symbiosis yet, not one that had, like, escaped it somehow. Because they said it was a different Melzano. I mean, I don't know which it is, but the idea that we're watching him mid-fight try and resist getting re -curioed and it's kind of half happening is the most fucking awesome thing. <gasps> what is happening? The same the thing you did before, I imagine. It's horrible to look at. Oh, they've taken the rest of him! Whoa! Whoa! Look at him! I'm just, I'm so confused. Why doesn't he just look like a normal Malzano now? Why is it still, why, what is this? <laughs> why is it so cool? Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! Oh, oh, that also does line projectiles because it what? wasn't enough that it's no! just a giant fucking circle. The way he does his like wings as like a shield 
is so cool. Yeah, it's it's very cool. I very much like that. Oh, I just want to. I just want to watch him like creepily through a window or openly in public. Actually, I don't care. Well, well, you can do that because he's teleporting at me. Apparently, oh, it's up to something. Just keep hitting it, and it'll probably what, stop. What, what is it? Is it up to the castle? I broke apart. <laughs> no, God, I'll put you back together. Don't worry. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, stop just throwing stuff at me. He's homing projectiles. I love the it's up to something. Like this mouse is like, yes, first I'll have the curio and then the world. To be fair, that's one of the hunter voice lines when they're about to do a big move. Yeah. So maybe she's just like, <laughs> oh that. my god, I just dodged that by crawling on a ceiling. No, I didn't. I thought I got like a flinch of what some sort. Doing? But instead, Oh, he's um, raining um, curio um, balls. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I just like bullet hell dodged eight attacks in a row and ran out of stamina before the actual attack, apparently. He rained curios and then he like fought them off in this huge explosion of blood blight energy that reset him and freed him and killed you. I I'll be honest with you, I didn't even see his attack because I was trying to dodge the million projectiles that were flying towards me. Hello, I've been expecting you, Cotton. Hi. We're glad you could make it to our party. Thank you. Me and Primmy Boy here have uh, a deal to offer you. This is the this is the weirdest introduction to a party I've ever had. Do you want me to like have some sort of quirk you're supposed to get? Or something? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm you know, glad you could make it. We have a deal for you. <laughs> okay. The deal is this: you get death, we get the pleasure of killing you. He's already killed me twice. I don't know what you stand to gain from that. Well, he's hoping to finish climaxing on your car. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this just kind of That's not even like a, oh, you misunderstood my wording. Like, why did you use that word? <laughs> I just wanted to give it some, like, grandioseness. Like, because this is the climax that's not of the, Sunbreak. The, that's not the way to use the word climax unless you want it to mean what you didn't want it to mean. Look, the point is we're not going to let him do that, okay? What, what do you mean? You, what do you mean let him do it? You are the you are fucking trying to arrange it on his back. I've decided that I'm back on your side. Okay, well, that's nice at least. Oh, I think we've decurioed his chest and arm. That was a big flincher. I, I think it resets him a oh, bit. Oh, he's still got a great tongue. Can <laughs> confirm. Oh, he's relentless, man. I agree. It's I'm so glad he's not a pushover and not a little weak baby dragon. You got really confused when you fell off the bridge there. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I mean, I also got confused when I fell off the bridge because, like... <laughs> Are you trying to think of a plan? Why aren't you fucking fighting him? Fearing, you can't see me get thrown off a bridge and then be like, Is this some sort of tactic? Or are you just an idiot? So do you prefer silvery, blue, purple Malzano? Or ready, ready, blacky Malzano? Yes. <laughs> You're right, it's that kind of situation. Ow! I mean, they're, they're, they're both the same monster, so I, I, I don't see a, a need to differentiate. I'm asking aesthetic color scheme preference, man. The ready black one isn't crazy different from base males and o. It's more like more of the same. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Base males and o color scheme or primordial males and o color scheme. Okay, I thought you were asking this one. What is happening? Not, not base. What is happening? Oh, it's the, super uh, the big attack you again. You see it now. Look at the rain of death. Yeah, I mean, I can see it in the fact that I'm still having he to dodge. He teleports all... before exploding yep. in the air. Yep. I thought I was lagging for a moment, but he almost <laughs> yeah, hit me with it's that. Yeah, the modem attack. Damn him. Modem, the newest member of the village. Father, I wish to. Not again. For anyone who has no context of why we suddenly started doing this, now just thinks that you and me privately have this like fake tribe that we add members to just as a like hobby correct that we like to engage in and we just got is like it, little characters I mean, and and we, <laughs> we little you, model you realize that is literally correct though right like it may be a reference to a conversation we've had in the past but that is literally still what you just said <laughs> i guess that's true hey man i love our little village that we managed together it's prospering okay okay we don't have to manage it but it is just an imaginary village that we create in our minds and i think that's important intrepid heart kind of bakes me into thinking i'm better at this game than i am really intrepid heart often just gets me killed excuse me what the f i turned around for two seconds why is I he valstrax now he's literally turned into valstrax he's a tackle like valstrax yeah, no, no, this is, I mean, this is, this is the four, this, you asked me before which one I prefer, it's this one. It's this one! That, aesthetically, is my top, in I, my top five favorite monsters of all time. That is yeah, that's, that's the pretty fucking coolest beautiful. looking elder dr Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's resisting symbiosis of the curio, look, it's fighting it! 
Yeah, look at that. It just fell over for a moment and let us heal, which was really nice, because otherwise I might have been dead. Can we just talk about how incredibly they've, like, woven the story of Malzano into this hunt? Yeah, it's really cool. Please stop killing me. <sighs> I just... Oh, my God. Why is it still going? Um, he, he just teleport twice in a, like, instant. Sir, that was about... <laughs> this is... Sir, you are going above the legal speed limit that a monster is allowed to move at. Oh, God. He is genuinely pulling out attacks that Valstrax wishes he had, the way that Valstrax would move his body, but he's not. He doesn't even have the freaking the, the weird wings. Like, I didn't know how they were going to follow up a Matsu with, like, a satisfying final hunt, but this 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 is it. Yeah, I mean, it's just about does Like, I, 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 I don't have the hot enough take to say which I prefer it right now but at minimum they're they're on par well i mean i think it's fair to say that amatsu is the best amatsu that we've we've ever had but it was still a spectacle fight this feels less like a spectacle fight yeah, and more an just an hunt. incredible fight that is a spectacle the way he uses his wings now is it is like he is a knight right like he just he is a knight. yeah no it's it's a sword he uses it a sword he uses it a shield it's it's, it's a sword and a shield well, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a spirit. Oh, that shield. wave beam is insane. Got it! No! I couldn't. I couldn't physically do anything. Like I was on the ground, stayed there as long as I could, and if I'd have gotten up any earlier, I would have died Can in the previous just... attack. They have made us believe that Maltino, this entire time, has been a vampire to an Agaron's werewolf and Garen Gomes, like Gollum. And at the very end, it turns out he is just a knight like everyone else in the kingdom, and that's the most beautiful thing. I don't like that he's called a demon, though. He doesn't deserve to be demon. He's a demon lord. But he's trying to fight the real demons that we made along the way in the Curios. Curios aren't demons. I mean, if I told you they were spawn of hell and then released a bag of them in your bedroom, you'd probably believe it. No, I'd think you were a demon for releasing a bag of them in my bedroom. Well, surely, if I snuck into your room and then released a bag of Curios, surely your first thing would be... How the hell did you get a bag of curios? No, that would not be my first thing. It would be, why the hell would you do this? No, you'd be like, that, but they're not, how did you get, they're not real, like, how have you done, like, surely that is the most pertinent, wondrous what, thing. Why are you assuming that my first question wouldn't, wouldn't be just one of absolute, like, this is, this is insane, and I am concerned? Why would it be, how did you do that? Would you prefer that I grew them or found them? I mean, you'd have to find them to grow them, so what's the difference? It's weirder if you found them as, like, little curios and then grow them. Well, no, because grow could be, like, in a lab, like, from scratch. Like, make them. Like a synthetic life form. Well, considering you don't have the knowledge or technology to do that, that'd be pretty weird, yeah. Are you calling me stupid? No, I'm saying that you don't know how to create literal life forms. That's really mean, man. I could do. You don't know that. What if my hobby is creating new animal life out of my imagination. Look, man, making different species breed is not a hobby. All I'm saying is we don't truly know what pairs of animals are technically compatible. Yes, we do. None of them. Hey, if we not if if we as humans had not pushed the boundaries, we would never have the mighty liger in our in our life. Humans have very little input on the concept. You know how big ligers are? No. Massive. Like, larger than both the lion and the tiger that that spawned it. That's cool. And I can't remember. It, it's either the Liger or the Teon that is actually, like, quite, quite a viable... I'm sorry. What the fuck is the difference? <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so... So you have a Liger, which I believe is male tiger, female lion. And then you have the Teon, which is male lion, female tiger. And they're two distinct animals that come out very differently despite it still being the and same this doesn't species. sound like it's it's like a, a some sort of mistake that like some sort of crime of nature to you well interestingly enough one of them is quite viable and can live fairly like okay and healthily the other one doesn't do well both of them are cannot uh, both of them are sterile so they can't you can't have like a liger and then the most interesting fact about it all is that it does happen very rarely in nature, as there are a few territories where lions and tigers crossed, and there have been natural oh tigers found. So I think that's fascinating by itself. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot more sense to me than humans just being like, let's just make some random things breed somehow. Oh, they've been bred in captivity a lot, but, you know, it's not, it's not a completely, you know...
outside chance it also can happen naturally. Yeah. But the point I'm making is if we don't know what cool half and half animals we could have, unless we really try. I think it's better not to try. <laughs> like, just let, it, just let animals be animals, man. I, I thought, you know, like, in this scenario, or just in general, it's just better not to try. Yeah, trying is for losers. I'll be honest with you. With him so evidently in pain and fighting against the Curios, which are the main threat yeah. and enemy, why are we killing him? Uh, because he's also trying to kill us? He's not, though, is he? He's just trying to struggle with the Curios. Yes, he is. He's, he's literally attacking us. He has killed me multiple times, very purposefully. Oh, yeah, but, you know, that was an accident. And also, he has, like, ransacked villages from the discussions that we were told before. Maybe that was like, false reports. Maybe he ransacked them as collateral for killing Curio Swarm. So you're saying that monsters should be innocent until proven guilty in Monster Hunter? What I'm saying is that, that you know, it's not like you go around in real life labeling every large threatening animal for death. And two, if it, we still need a solution for the Curio Swarm, right? We can't just let them buzz around. That's such an unsatisfying ending to this whole thing. So what if he's this? If he's clearly fighting them and killing them. So if we just let him go, he'll just kill all the Curios for I don't see him killing any Curios. I see him, like, pushing them away and then they come back. What, the literal opening intro, he stabbed one and murdered it? Yeah, he stabbed one. Do you know how many Curios there are? Yeah, I'm not saying it won't take him a while, but he's up for the task. What? He's dead? Repelled! Something's off, let's go after- Oh, oh was that- See, I told you it feels bad killing him! I'm very confused. Is, is there another- Are we going to fight him again? Judgment that brings destruction. Could it be that it's not aimed at us? What? That's a twist ending? Oh. Welcome, I've been expecting you. Just like, thanks, I needed that workout. I like how we were about to go fight him on top of that pillar. Yeah, we were just gonna go kill him. So he's still trying to resist and fight off the Curio. Well, he's biting at them, shielding himself, blasting them away. Look at him! He's glorious! In the most literal Great. sense. Hung! Hung! That was some good hunging there. <laughs> it's a solid hung. Round two. Happening? Fight! <laughs> yeah! Malzano is not attacking us. See, I told you he's not trying to kill you, man. How, you must have just tripped up three times and accidentally fallen on a rock. Yeah, he's just he's just been aiming. He just aimed seven attacks at me in a row and teleported into into me. It's because you had curios near you the entire time. It was a complete flu. Actually, to be fair, at that point he was the one that was covered in curios. So maybe he like loses control when he goes like like black and red. Mode. Yeah, that's what the bloodening might actually be giving into the curio mindset. I love in the background he's just fighting a swarm of tiny biting. <laughs> Leech I'm sorry, are we about to start stabbing Curios one at a time? Oh, that's so good! It's this little sweet shift of the sword! Are we gonna help him? How? how? That's so cool! It's extremely cool, but also... <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, is this gonna, like, go into the credits or something? <laughs> like, I'm confused as to how... Oh, I so wanted it just to give us control to back Curios is it really out of the air. Is it really not even going to show us, like, fighting? Like, I'm using a fucking plushie, man. <laughs> Look, we did it. We it's killed like, them oh, all. Oh, what's up, dude? Are we, we, we cool now? Is sorry cool about all the explosions. Uh, I'm sure you're sorry about, like, cutting me <laughs> in half a few times. Curios. Curios, am I right, guys? Curios. Goodbye. It's like... It looks like fucking skeletal when you look at the inside of his wings. Dude, wing. the idea that he's, like, this white dragony knight protector. The guardian, the guardian knight, knight of peace. What an awesome ending. But also, I'm sorry, was that- was that- Lips. Oh, she shed a tear. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to ruin this dramatic moment, but was- are they implying that was every curio left in existence? <laughs> we- we were busy, man. It took a while. There was just, there was like maybe like 50 there, which is a fair amount, but like, I, I'm sure there's more than 50 curios. Also, what about all the afflicted monsters? Are those just done now? See? We let him go and he solves the curios! That's okay. so awesome! What a satisfying ending! It's really nice. Flying the off first into time the sunset. In a I think it might be the first time ever that like a Monster Hunter like story beat has has like ended the story with it being, and we're not going to kill it. Yeah, the idea that Firin kind of realized that wait, this feels wrong. This isn't the play. This isn't something we should kill. And you know what's hilarious? What? <laughs> There's gonna be quests for us to kill it now that we've done that. <laughs> There is actually gonna be- there is. There's gonna be other- there is. There totally is. 100%. Hey! Good work, you two! Thank the you. The kingdom safe and all that's- I, I, I struggled what? with that one.
Want to have a party or something? I'm dying for Dango. You know you don't need to have a party for Dango. It's literally the only food in this town. <laughs> Aside from my fruit stall. Regarding the true meaning of the fairy tale, we're way off the mark. I guess you're so right. You Let's recap some fruit? So it turns out Malzano repelled the arch demon and it was actually protecting the kingdom the whole time. People okay. from the past must have viewed him as some kind of savior, so they made that tale out of reverence and respect. A tale where they call him the demon lord? I used to feel enmity towards the creature, but perhaps I have some rethinking to do. <laughs> perhaps not! Okay, Dadmiral. <laughs> He's over okay. there like, damn, I really wanted to kill it. There is no need to rethink your feelings. <laughs> yes. In a way, the kingdom was saved by Malzano, but also it was fucked over by Malzano, so you know. Why is he staring right down the camera? And you, Hunter. <laughs> Fuck you. It was merely only defending its territory. Do not forget that we have lost and those who have suffered injury. I'm sorry, you just skipped You just skipped a really funny line there. <laughs> you, you just said, We are not protecting our territory. We're protecting the peace of Her Majesty's people. There's a decisive difference there. No, you're protecting your territory. That's literally what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. I'm going to let you fulfill my duty as a royal knight. Harlow's just like, please, can we go eat Dango? There's still plenty of Dango left, everyone. Eat, eat, eat to your heart's content. I must thank you again, Nylia. Your heroism has once again saved our kingdom. You're welcome, Godden's dad. He hasn't eaten with me in years. Her Majesty is extremely pleased as well. I've been told she's writing you a thank you letter as we speak. How have you been told that? So she sent a letter saying she's writing a thank you letter? She said she sent a letter to prepare you for the thank you letter. Yes. <laughs> she was right. just even doing that. Oh my god. Oh. But they're not going to follow up because it's it. That's such a tease. Unless Monster Hunter says. Unless. Sings. You might die of old age before you get to read it. Okay. Uh. Also, why is why are Arlo and Jay just like having their own conversation? Like they, they just want Dango, man. It's fair. Chiche also wants Dango. She's not even having a conversation. She's <laughs> just waiting expectantly. Be that it is May, Ilya, we have overcome many tribulations together, and a strong bond unites us. To me, that bond yeah, is you're strong my father. To consider you family. Congratulations, cousin. You know, I consider you family too, in a very literal sense. He's finally, you've done it. You've earned his love. He finally has acknowledged you. <laughs> you must be so happy. I, mean, I, I just, I wish it was more of a definitive statement that I consider you family because of what you've done for us here. Look, like, I mean, what about the whole blood Look, thing? Okay, the fact is, he is, he has finally acknowledged you, and now also. I guess this means you're like my stepbrother I don't or something. Like the concept of the step there, like he didn't like marry into it or anything. Well, he he considers me family too, so that got him. You know, what, what would you label it? We're part, I'm part of the I, family now. He's my dad, moral too. I'm sorry. I think I think he just misunderstands our relationship. <laughs> it's always I've always wanted to have another son. <laughs> yeah. And I'm totally cool with whatever you two are up to. It's it, I'm I'm very progressive. <laughs> I can't believe that's so great. You finally fought through every <laughs> challenge in Sunbreak, and you now actually get to be his recognized child. I get to have a father. That was such a good ending, hun. Like, it was it was really cool as a story beat, but it feels sort of like there's, there should be something. Mo Whoa. Oh, Mal's. Oh, God's weapons. Oh. Oh. He, 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 he you have Increases health the health then. recovery from Blood Right. Oh, that's awesome. Then again, when I hit something with a great sword attack with Blood Rite, it's just a full heal, so that feels okay. kind of wasted. See, I read the the orange text before reading the part afterwards, and I was just like, oh, oh it's, it's health augment. Health augment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, weapons just have inbuilt health augment would have been sick. Oh, yeah, primordial tree. Please be good. Yeah, I mean, they've got to be, right? So 330 purple, and it's got less raw than the bloody OG miles and no great sword. Oh, it does have three four <laughs> slots on it. I also imagine it's not supposed to be a raw weapon, if I had to guess. Three, four slots. Yeah, that's a lot of slots. That's, that's, that, that adds up. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that is, <laughs> that is very pretty. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? And a new skill. Blood Awakening. Gradually bolsters your attacks for a certain period of time, depending on how much health you regain when... Oh, so big chunky health regen with a blood, blood right strike, and you get extra attack for the... For the trouble. Interesting. So it kind of mitigates like, the offensive loss of taking blood. I mean, I feel like that's cool, but like you have to break apart before that even takes effect. Like that that's not like a it's definitely not gonna be a, a meta skill, I don't think, but it is very cool. Well, it might be a massive boost, and then it would be. I mean, yeah, it says gradually though. It depends how gradual it is. 
Okay. It does also have a ridiculous amount of slots on it, though. Yeah, the helmet is all three blood right and two four. Two fours on a two? It's two? There's two four slots on every single piece. That's insane. The waist is the worst part. What? Two person crit boost with two four slots in a two slot is a, is a lot the, of goodness. It being the worst primordial Malzano part. Maybe it's the worst for you because you don't want to use burst. <laughs> Great, so it's the only weapon in the game. I don't understand why you're confused by this. Yeah, you're right. You didn't finish that statement. It's the only weapon in the game that doesn't want to use burst. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen. Sunbreak's final chapter. More of an epilogue. Complete. For the most part. Obviously, you know, there'll still be lots more Sunbreak in general until yeah, I mean, Monster Hunter 6 sunbreak. rolls around, but... But it's not adding more. It's quite... We're still going to play it. It's quite the ending, really. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. All right, then, guys. Let us know how you found it. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And it's been a pleasure going through the entirety of uh, this G-Rank exp... Sorry, Master Rank expansion. For you all. Gee, what a rank. Gee, what a rank. A oh, good Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.